Hey, hello. So a well-requested feature has been the ability to switch between different weapons. So in this episode, we'll do exactly that. So just to get started, I'll go into our player. Now let's enable our camera. And under this camera, let's create an empty game object and we'll call it weapon holder. And I'll just move it to the top, uh, parent it under this main camera. And then let's parent this AK to this weapon holder. Okay. And I'll just duplicate the AK and I'll call it AK2. And just to make this clearer, let's let's change the colors a bit, so something obvious to tell if it's working. Now obviously you could add different weapons here. Uh I'll let you guys do that. But this is just so we can demonstrate that we're switching between weapons. Okay. Now on this weapon holder, let's add a new script called weapon switcher. Okay, so at the top here, we'll add a private int for our selected weapon. And we'll set this equal to zero. And then we'll create an empty function that we'll use later, or stub as it's known formally, called select weapon. And in the start method, we'll call select weapon. And then in this update method is where most of the work will be done. So we'll make a new int for previous selected weapon and we'll set this equal to our selected weapon then we'll check if input dot get key down and we'll do key code the alpha one which will be our one number key on the keyboard and if this key has been pressed we'll set selected weapon equal to zero now we can duplicate this for all of the other keys on the keyboard. So for alpha 2, which is the 2 key, we'll set the selected weapon equal to 1. For alpha 3, which is the number 3 key, we'll set selected weapon equal to 2. For alpha 4, we'll set it equal to 3. And so on. Okay, then we'll check if previous selected weapon is not equal to our selected weapon, then we also want to call this select weapon function right here. Uh, apologies for the massive truck outside my window. I didn't realize that until now. But in this function, we want to enable the child of this weapon holder that is at our selected weapon index. So to do that, the most efficient way is to send an int called i equal to zero and we'll have a for each loop for each transform called weapon inside of this transform and then we'll check if i is equal to selected weapon then we'll set our weapon transform the game object to be set active true and if it's not our selected weapon we'll set weapon the game object the set active false and at the end here still inside of this for each loop we'll do i plus plus like so and just once again, what this does is it loops through all of the child game objects of this weapon holder. And if its index is equal to our selected weapon, we'll enable it. Now in a second, we'll also add a scroll wheel input. So you can also use the scroll wheel to select weapons. But let's just test this for now to make sure that our baseline logic is working properly. Make sure to disable this camera. Okay, as you can see, we switch between weapons. Uh, 
if you're colorblind, this might be a bit hard to tell. But yeah, we actually change between the different guns. Now in many games, they also allow you to use the scroll wheel to switch the weapon. Now this will take a little bit of code, so bear with me. At the end here, uh, just above this, we'll do if input dot get access mouse scroll wheel and what this does is it references this axis right here so if input dot get access mouse scroll wheel is greater than zero and in here we'll do a very simple check so if selected weapon is greater than or equal to our transform dot child count minus one then we'll set our selected weapon to be equal to zero. So what this does is if we've reached the last weapon in this weapon holder with the scroll wheel, we'll just loop over back to the first weapon. Then else we'll do selected weapon plus equals one. Okay, then we can copy and paste this and we'll check if the mouse scroll wheel is less than zero. So if we're scrolling down, if our selected weapon is greater than or equal to, and we'll put zero here, we'll loop back over, but the other way. So we'll set selected weapon equal to transform, the child count minus one, and otherwise we'll do selected weapon minus equals one. And I'll just very quickly uh, increase the scale of the second weapon, just to make it more obvious that we're switching. Sorry about the um, helicopter. I think there's like some robbery or something. I don't really know what's going on. But, um, oh, so you have to capitalize the, this is a very small issue, but you have to capitalize the W in scroll wheel. As you can see, we can switch with the scroll wheel and also with the number keys. Now, a thing we have to add is if we press a number key, greater than the number of weapons we have, we just select no weapon. So let's fix that. In here, we'll check if selected weapon is greater than or equal to transform the child count. Then we'll set our selected weapon equal to transform the child count minus one. And this is it. Let's actually add a very quick draw animation to our weapon switcher. So add a animation component. And with the weapon holder selected, we'll create a new animation called draw. On the first frame of the animation, let's rotate the gun down. Then around here, we'll make it bounce up a bit. and we'll bring it back to its original position. So let's play this. Looks pretty good. Uncheck play automatically. And up here, we'll add two things. First, we'll add a public animation called animation. And then we'll add a public animation clip called draw. And in this select weapon script, we'll do animation dot play draw dot name. And above that, let's do animation dot stop. So if the animation is playing, we'll stop it and then we'll play the draw animation. So let's save that. And we can drag in our animation and then our draw animation. Make sure to disable the camera. Fantastic. Look at that. Yeah, this is very snazzy. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.